I, I love it. I think what it's become, I mean, I loved all the great old comfort foods. You know, you go kind of potato in the box to eat and stews and soda bread and stuff. But, you know, I think that, first of all, like having studied Irish history and read the Cahoon cycle and, you know, read a lot of WB Yeats because that's what initially had brought me here was the Yeats International School. To know that the culture supersedes a lot of what we get in the U.S. You know, people just think of Shamrock Shillelaghs and, you know, St. Paddy's Day in March, and they don't realize about the, the richness of history and all the different uh, cultures that have contributed to Irish cuisine, to Irish culture. Um, so I'm loving it. And I think that now, especially, you know, with what Good Food Ireland is actually advocating, the notion of taking advantage of these amazing local resources, amazing lamb, amazing crab, I mean, rights of hoth, and I had to learn about hoth originally, but the am amazing uh, smoked salmon uh, and fresh fish that you're able to get, as much as the, the produce and, and people that are now really advocating local, local, local. And then you've got great culinary minds that are reinterpreting the classics, going to places like Fate Street Social and having Irish tapas. I had an amazing meal, uh, a, a pig's ear on Nassau Street, and seeing, you know, brown bread ice cream and seeing amazing terrines, but also, you know, I've, I've seen it progressively more in London where they'll say, you know, Dover, uh, you know, uh, Dover Soul, or they'll say uh, a certain type of place from uh, Cornwall. Exactly that, and starting to see the lamb mentioned, or where the duck is from, and I think that it's beautiful that Ireland is developing a modern culinary identity. Whatever I could do to advocate it, I'm all 